Sorry, she was muffled by luxury and couldn't hear me. One more time. <gasps> oh, hey, COVID's here. Come on in. You know, COVID's here said, hey, can we invite ourselves over and raid your closet? And I said, no, but you can come into my nursery. That's right. These are my babies. And I am a mother. Let me show you around. I really am a mother, though. This is my dog. As you can see, she is a doodle. Freaking love Banana Republic Home. They shat out a gorgeous furniture line. And now I get to, like, meditate here on this gorgeous twin bed, which is the same size I lost my virginity on. Anyways, um, what? Tessa, why would you say that? You're a virgin. What? <laughs> Damn right. But I will be a mother one day. Until that day, though, my babies are frozen in a fridge down the street. Just kidding. They're right here. You want something? That's right. That is not an amp. I hate music. Inside my mini fridge is another mini fridge because this bitch broke, so I keep her cold by putting her in the bigger fridge. But she does have my skincare inside, and if I open it, it will all fall out. So I actually bought this electric guitar that I didn't know was a mini electric guitar because when you're scrolling online, it looks normal sized. <laughs> and then I bought it. It, and it showed fit. up. <laughs> Dude, but it fits me, right? Like, it actually does. Because I'm a little bitch, it totally fits. It looks like a normal sized guitar. And I don't play, even though that was on key. Um, in tune? Whatever. I don't know music words. This is all my perfumes. Wow. <laughs> this is a piece that my dad got me in London on a trip during Christmas, and I love it. It's a giant uh, sharpener. <laughs> if you put your hand inside, it sharpens it. So. <laughs> this was filmed in front of a live studio audience. What would Beyonce do? WWBD. Um, and what would she do? Well, she would wash her crystals in a full moon, which is why all my crystals are here. Actually, it's a full moon today. Yes, it yeah, is. Man. That's why I'm hype. But this is kind of like my meditation station before I get ready and glammed up. Like I want to be good and centered and reunited with my core and feel good about myself before spreading the light that I have within. I've got my little meditational bowl. This was a gift from my mother. Boop. I'm looking real Indian right now. And then, after you get zen, after you pull your shit together, you wanna lose your shit. So then I pull out some Patron. This was a beautiful box that my grandmother gave me. Actually, she didn't, she died and then I stole it. And this was a pin. She loved brooches, she loved QVC, she had a hoarding issue and she gave it down to me and I aesthetically designed it in this room so you don't think it's a hoarding issue. These bitches! Whose neck wants this? Everything in here <laughs> is either thrifted or gifted. I made a promise to myself two and a half years ago and I've held true to it, kind of, uh, to not buy anything new. So I'm not trying to buy anything or produce more shit in the world because um, there's so much and there's so many good stories in secondhand goods. And if you can continue that story, then you should. Bars, I know. Yeah. Speaking of thrifted, this dress is. I found this dress in a bucket for $10. Come on now. Um, I'm definitely a garage sale kid, definitely an estate sale. Die, people so can have your <laughs> shit. Thank you for your time, thank you for your service, now give it to me. A lot is gifted too. I check my privilege every day. Uh, shout out to Dior. Um, oh, I forgot to turn my lamp on. Oh, you're good. We gotta, we gotta start over again. Now the aesthetic's <laughs> so different now. Can we? This is Beaumont. This was from my very I was gonna say first, but it was my very second Met Gala that I was hosting at the top with Vogue. It was so sick, and Olivier is an amazing designer, amazing brain, so juicy, so moist, and he created this most gorgeous, like, finger trap piece that I was in all night. Speaking of, these were shoes that were actually custom made for that second Met Gala. I had two options for shoes, and we were trying to figure out which one to go with. Would it be this one, or would it be this one? It was this one. Because the dress was so glam, made of chain mail and feathers, and it was pink, and it was such a moment that we needed something a little more subdued for the shoot. So we didn't end up going with this one, but I got to keep it. Yeah, I love that. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, let me, I just gave her a haircut. Liza, just be mindful of your uh, my crotch. Yeah. Liz, it's behind a paywall. Why is this behind exactly. a paywall? Yeah, well, yeah. at 636, she yeah. showed her vulva. Backpack right here, Pan Pan. Five foot entertainment, baby. Okay, you will refer to me by my INC, my ink. Yes, that's right, nod your head. Harder, faster, better, stronger, very good. No stop. But also it's how tall I am too, and like seeing a little bitch in the airport just run around with her little Dora the Explorer backpack on, it says five feet tall, that's exactly <laughs> how tall I am. All right. Oh, the jewelry, I forgot the jewelry. It says art, and I wear it on my wedding finger, cause that's what I'm married to. This says scrank, and what I do, it's a verb, 
I scrank. I scrank around town. I scrank left, I scrank right, I scrank inside out. Scrank is a term created by Miss Tyka Pride Visuals.com at Tyka Pride on Instagram. She actually designed this very room. She planted the acorn, grew the oak, hacked it down, then stained the wood and put it here. She didn't do all that, but Casual. she did stain the wood and build this shit. She's amazing. This credenza, which is one of the most fun words in the English language, and I will name my child credenza. Credenza, get your ass in here. <laughs> this credenza used to live in my living room. You don't have to purchase new furniture every time you're trying to refresh your house. So we decided to reinvent this one instead. But down here, I have one of my favorite pieces. It is this beautiful wood bead piece. Ooh. How gorgeous is she? Wow. She cannot hang, she will break. Me too. That's a good line. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can't hang, because I will break. And that's why I Irish exit and go home early and sleep. Um, but this gorgeous piece was created by this amazing artist, Erica Meisch. And I found her on Instagram, but a lot of pieces that I have here are from Etsy. I love finding young, emerging designers, and by that I mean a little bit of child labor. They tend to be 17, <laughs> they tend to be in high school still, and I'm encouraging them to drop out because they're brilliant and talented. This is a gorgeous Etsy designer by the name of, let me plug her properly, Kareen Sultan. I think Scaparelli bopped her, okay? Love you, Scaparelli. We love you, Scaparelli. Call us. This is a gorgeous jade bracelet that I got on a trip to Vietnam with Michelle Obama. Mm. Did she just name drop that hella casually? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's right. We went for brunch. I had mimosas with Momo. <laughs> but uh, I got this on a trip to Vietnam with my sister. It was a really meaningful trip. And a jade bracelet is actually supposed to bring you luck as well as protection. And when you put it on, you're supposed to get it fit exactly to your wrist wear it all the time, never take it off, and the day that it breaks is actually it absorbing the shock of something awful that was supposed to happen to you but was protecting you. This, if you're Texas, you know. This is James Avery, baby. This was a sign of wealth in high school. This was like, damn, your parents love you. This was no daddy issues here. This was really like, oh, you're that bitch in high school if you're wearing one of these with a lot of charms, and this is not a lot of charms. <laughs> but I totally got it. I had matching ones with my friends. I had one for Jesus. You don't love Jesus? Yeehaw! Get some real good... Yeehaw! Speaking of the culture, Texas culture, here's my other side of the world, India. This is a tikka. I have so many of them. This tiffin was converted into a purse. What's a tiffin? Let me tell you, it's Indian Tupperware. So what this is, is essentially what kids would carry to school to pack their food into. So, hello? Your rice goes at the bottom and your curry goes on top. They're typically like this silver color. And this designer in India, in Mumbai, when I went with my sister, uh, made it gold and then created this little contraption here to turn it into a purse. This designer was so ingenious to create this holder for it. Pop that in there, you lock it. You rock it. Wow. Cute. Pop, lock, and rocket. Yeah. It's full of food. I literally Imagine. went to all of my Diwali's and I took my to-go so food in here. beautiful. Come over here for my favorite thrift tip, guys. This is so sick. I found this on Etsy. This is like a tapestry that I'm sure some elderly man in a lazy boy died on. And then they took this and gave it new life by creating that tapestry blanket into a tapestry hoodie. This is such a sick jacket. Hold up. Oh, I got so lucky to cop. Love her. Love her. And she was like, she was $20. 20? Like crazy? 20. 20. Of course, from the real real, a lot. Please call me. A lot of stuff that I have comes from the real real. Jodorowsky. I love. I know, but it's fucking Louis Vuitton. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, I love this. I just got this. The Jean Paul Gaultier. I love the illusion of a sweater, but it's actually super cool to wear. In fact, you will get cold wearing this sweater. Oh my God, this one has a really cool story. I wore this on set of players. I wore this as the secretary or the best friend to our main lead, Gina Rodriguez, who's a genius, genius Rodriguez to you. Um, and yeah, that was actually a full blown lie. I just wanted to plug the movie, but this is a really cute top. Um, these pants don't fit me, but I got them so no one else could have them. Um, <laughs> got too them. Small or too big? They're too small, they're too low waist. It's yeah. full, just. Frontal crack showing, you know what I mean? Oh, I love Fear of God! I love Jerry Lorenzo, I love his whole story, I love his come up, I love his hustle, his mentality, I think he's a genius, and I got these Fear of God pants from Crossroads on Melrose. They got the best stuff. Yeah, Refresh Yourself also has to do with our show, Emptiness Refresh, coming out on Roku this summer. I made a line, and it was called 
one of one. That's right, Beyonce and I are in a lawsuit. This was back, I think, in 2017, and I had a whole merch line, and it was called Ani Afani, is how you pronounce it if you want it to sound more expensive, but it was one of one. Mm. And <laughs> Ani Afani. <laughs> and I made this like satchel bag that held everything. I just wanted a big bitch that could hold it all. I sold this online at bylazakoshi.com for a real long time, and then we shut it down, and we went bankrupt. Maybe I'll bring it back again in a different way, but I love designing. I love being thoughtful about all the details and that was so fun for me to create. And it was always embroidered with one of one. Oh my God, I just love these pants. As much as I wanna be a chic bitch, I'm also a little skater boy. I'm a little little bro dude and I love these cargo <laughs> pants with patches. I do, I wish I knew how to ride, but I do. Anyways. Oh, speaking of design, <laughs> this was a really cool puffer moment that I created with Montclair. On the back it says, Thank God. It pays homage to like my style from high school and like the letterman that I would wear at school that was a different color sleeve. Yeah. Super <laughs> sick. My letterman girl I was an athlete. The little, hmm? heart, the little heart I love. It's definitely on my left. My left head is huge. My right's not. It <laughs> I is. I still remember where my heart is. Blood like, pumps on good. your left side. <laughs> Brian Rook made this puppy. It says little brown girl on the back. And that's what used to be my bio when I started this whole damn thing back in 2013. Happy decade to me. I need to cry back. Of course, another moment where you're like, am I gonna see what I want to? Um, very short dress, but love. They're really cool pants by Autumn Adegbo, an amazing African uh, designer. She's brilliant, genius, love. Victoria Beckham for Reebok. I thought it was such a cool line, I loved it. Oh, this is my mom's coat, isn't it sick? Yeah. I was conceived in this coat, actually. No idea how to wear this, but I can't well, wait to. So sick, right? I think with like pants. Or we could just full on merc in situation. Or just wear that, yeah, see what happens. Just nothing, just a yeah. sensor bar yeah. underneath. I didn't buy her. I ripped her and then I was forced to pay for it. But she is a John Galliano for Dior. I'll wear her again until then the body bag for you. This is literally just so I can name drop. I met Oprah in this. <laughs> Who? And now a quick blast from the past. My homecoming dress. What? <gasps> Stop. <laughs> but like, yeah, I wore this when I was 17, and it was actually really long, and I cut it. I just raw edged it. It was a long gown situation, and I just cut that bitch off. Rick Owens! I love Rick Owens. She needs a steamer. Not a Cleveland steamer, but a steamer. I might wear this to our premiere of A Family Affair on Netflix this fall.